Derivation, or the formation of words, is an important concept in English. By derivation, we mean the correct use of a noun, a verb, an adjective, or an adverb in a sentence. In Unit 3, we have a group of words that have derivatives, and we are asked to derive the correct form of the word. Here's the list, word by word. The first word. The word artifice is a noun, while artificial is the adjective, and artificially is the adverb. For example, it is not advised to buy food that is artificially modified. The noun of the second word is cancer, and its adjective is cancerous. For example, the new treatment works by blocking a protein which causes cancerous cells to grow. The next noun is expansion, and its verb is expand. The KHCC has begun an expansion program. Word number four is appendage. It is a noun, and the verb is append. For example, he will be working with a specialist doctor to build the appendage. Word number five is implant, which can be both a noun and a verb. For example, how can an implant help disabled people? Word six, operation, which is a noun. The verb is operate, while the adjective is operational. And the adverb is operationally. For example, many instruments that are still used today in operations were designed by Arab scholars. Number seven. Here we have a word with two nouns, pediatrician and pediatrics. And the adjective is pediatric. For example, the hospital treats both adult and pediatric patients. Number eight is another word with two nouns, prosthetics and prosthetic. And the adjective is prosthetic. For example, athletes with prosthetic legs can take part in the Paralympics. Number nine, the word scanner is the noun, while the verb is scan. For example, do you know what else an MRI scanner is used for? Number 10. Sponsor is both a noun and a verb, while the adjective is sponsored. The example, the festival was sponsored by a big company. Number 11. The word trial is both a noun and a verb. For example, in fact, this is one of many medical trials that organizations are carrying out. The last word is ward, which is also a noun and a verb. For example, robots visit patients in the ward when the doctor is not available. Now, please take our self-assessment test below. Once you submit, your answers will automatically be checked for you.